I'm not even really sure how to start this video. Welcome to day 28 of Vlogmas. Originally this was supposed to be a much happier, lighthearted, feminist video. And uh, then something really, really terrible happened. I'm sure by the time that you read the title of this video, possibly you've seen Sarah's video yesterday, you know exactly what I'm going to talk about. You probably know because it happened yesterday that Carrie Fisher passed away. I did the thing where you tell yourself, don't go on Facebook, don't go on Twitter, you don't want to see that. And then I did anyway. You know, last week, Carrie had a heart attack. There was hope that she would get better. Debbie Reynolds sent out a tweet that said that she was stable and that they would update us with anything that changed. I get the feeling that it happened very quickly and unexpectedly. But I don't actually want to talk about the fact that she's gone because it's hard. I don't think it's something that she would want me to focus on either. I really want to talk about how Carrie Fisher has influenced the person that I am. Pretty much since I was born, I've been the Princess Leia of my family. It mostly stemmed from the fact that Darth Vader has always been my dad's favorite Star Wars character. I think Carrie Fisher has always been really important to my dad. He was always Darth Vader and I was always his little princess whether or not he likes to admit it. I grew up with this idea that I was like Princess Leia even though I hadn't seen any of the Star Wars movies as a kid. Carrie Fisher personally didn't directly mean that much to me when I was really young because I didn't really know who she was. I knew who Princess Leia was. I knew the character. It was only in the last like year and a half that I started to really appreciate Carrie Fisher as a person. Sarah and I went to Tampa Bay Comic Con and we went and saw her panel and I don't remember seeing her at all because it was so full but I remember her being so funny and so honest and I started to kind of fall in love with her then and then later last year The Force Awakens came out and you know at that time I knew that she was Princess Leia I knew a lot more about her and so I was really excited to see General Leia and right after The Force Awakens came out I finally watched the first three Star Wars movies that came out. I finally understood the impact that Princess Leia had on women when the movie first came out and continues to have on little girls and women and everyone in between. Carrie Fisher very rapidly became one of my favorite people. Just in the last year and a half, Carrie Fisher and Princess Leia have both changed my life and the way that I've viewed myself in the world. I saw myself a lot in Leia and I saw in Carrie a woman that I wanted to be. I still see and carry a, a fighter, a mother, um, a daughter, a funny, honest, lovable, wonderful person. I know that Carrie means a lot to me and Sarah. Carrie means a lot to a lot of you. It's, I don't even know what else to say except that Carrie was so important for so many reasons and in so many ways. For so many people. I just think that if there is anything that Carrie would want us to remember, it's hope. Hope that things will get better. Hope that you can learn to live with a mental disability. Hope that tomorrow will be brighter. Hope that the rebellion won't just fall apart, won't be annihilated, and will continue to make the changes that need to be made. Carrie was a human being and had her flaws and had her addictions and her demons but at the end of the day she was an amazing person and just by being open and honest about her mental health she made it possible for so many people to be open and honest with their mental health and to take care of themselves. She's taught so many women how to be strong and how to fight for themselves and how to be complex human beings when everybody else tells you you're supposed to be this one archetype. I'm sorry that this video is so sad. I want you to take away from this the very same thing that I really think Carrie wanted us to take away from life, and that is that there is hope. That rebellions are built on hope. It's really hard to say goodbye to somebody that you look up to, especially somebody that you don't feel like you've had enough time with, but there's only one way to really let her go, and that is to say that she is doing exactly what she thought she'd be doing, drowning in moonlight, being strangled by her own bra. At this time, I really just want to express my sorrow and condolences, which may or may not mean anything, to Carrie Fisher's family, to her daughter Billy, 
to her mother Debbie, to her brother Todd. I want to try to end this video on a happy note, so in the comments let me know what your favorite memory about Carrie Fisher is. I'm actually going to end this video with uh, my favorite tweet of the day. It's from James Grassell, who's one of the members of Practical Folks. May we all be as principled as the princess, strong as the general, and amazing as the woman. Sarah, we'll see you tomorrow. And a thought that is absolutely ridiculous for me to have, but really, really, really hurts me is, what about Gary? <laughs> Her dog. That's the kind of person I am. I worry about the animal. <laughs>